and a half minutes and I bet you guys are wondering where I've been and if I was planning on updating more videos. So here I am. Um, I do have a little update about, um, you know, my practice, everything we've been doing with COVID-19 and also just me personally and why I kind of um, stopped uploading videos and so I'll get into that. Um, but I thought I'd just kind of start my um, reappearance with a little update and everything that's been going on with me. So let's get right into right. it. So um, basically I took a break because I was a little confused about the direction I wanted to take this and I was trying to put way too much thought into it to try to create it to be what I wanted to be but I've kind of realized at this point I just need to put myself out there and as I do it it'll kind of become and grow into what I want it to be just like I did with my um, Instagram handle so that's basically why I haven't recorded anything in a while um, and also you know just getting a little overwhelmed with school and work um, that's definitely been a um, hot kind of topic in my life right now um, but yeah with all this newfound time um, I definitely want to get back on here and just um, keep kind of going at it and creating content to try to help guide people where um, kind of, you know, the path I've taken. So yeah, um, but I, I just like forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, oh, um, yeah, so I was just kind of being a perfectionist, trying to create this idea of what I wanted it to be and not really actually putting the videos out there or even trying it all. I was just kind of going over it over and over in my head, like what do I want this to look like? Um, what kind of content do I want to put out there? But so I'm just going to try to put out any and all content that I can think of um, and kind of see what sticks, see what people like, see what's helping people and then just kind of go off of that. And then also I did not have very much storage on my phone and it was a real pain in the butt to edit things and record things. So that was definitely a, um, you know, kind of like a stepping stone that made it a little difficult. Um, but I did get a new phone and it's got lots and lots of storage. So I'll be able to, you know, create content more, um, which I'm very excited about. Um, and then also, you know, just school, I've been really trying to focus on that, but I've definitely had a lot going on with work as well, so that's made it, you know, a little overwhelming and I've had a lot on my plate, but with all of my newfound time, I definitely want to kind of refocus my um, priorities and what I want to do and what I want to be, so um, I definitely want to help guide people and help people kind of realize what they want their role in veterinary medicine to be. So I'm excited to try to create that. But basically I've been doing, you know, okay with the whole COVID-19 situation going on. Um, over the past two or three weeks, my work has um, cut everyone down to being part-time and um, so I'm only working about 24 hours a week. And so I'm working three days a week. I have three days on, four days off. And my work has split us up into two groups um, that never come into contact with each other. So in case one team gets COVID or has to be quarantined, then the other team can work full time and kind of carry on the business without us having to close down, which I'm really grateful for. Um, I'm really, really grateful for my work right now and the way that they've been handling everything because I've definitely seen some businesses not handle this as well. So I'm just really grateful that they're, you know, putting their best foot forward. They're listening to our feedback about how the days are working, how they aren't. They've kind of been crazy because we're taking on every case that we can, but we're only half staffed and we're almost taking on a, a normal day caseload with a whole staff. So. It's definitely been a work in progress. Um, we're not getting off on time, but you know, again, 
Um, we're only working three days a week, so it's kind of put everything you have into those three days and then you have four days off. So I've been kind of trying to balance um, the stress load because it's really stressful for three days and then I have four days just off. So I'm trying to kind of get my head in the right place and put my focus and my time and my energy into creating some good habits that will be fundamental and um, continue to carry out after all this is over and after I am going back to work full time. So um, yeah, that's kind of an update about me. Um, right now in school, I'm finishing clinical pathology too. Um, I'm on the last unit, so I'm almost on to um, my GE course. I'm personally taking music appreciation. Um, so it's my next course and then I'll be about halfway done with um, my third semester in Penn Foster. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, clinical pathology has definitely been a heavy class to handle. Uh, I'm also currently taking a cytology CE through um, veterinary partner um, or veterinary support personnel network. Yeah, so veterinary support personnel network um, or VSPN. I'm taking a CE through them on cytology. It's a six week, I think it's a seven week course, but um, there's a break week and this was the break week. Um, so I've been doing watching webinars on that. Um, I've also signed up for a CPR course um, by Recover, um, which is um, one of the places that um, you can get a certificate for basic life support and advanced life support for animals. Right now they're doing it free for veterinary um, related students that have had their schooling cut short due to COVID. So um, I'm hopping on that. I've yet to start it, but I'm very excited to start it. Um, kind of all of a sudden taking on all these projects and finding the time to do it, um, even with everything going on. So yeah, that's basically where I'm at. Um, I would love to hear what you guys want to um, see from me. I'm planning on doing a video about externships and how I got through my first externship because I know that's been um, kind of a hot topic that everybody always wants to hear more about. Um, also something fun and exciting that's happened um, is that I got elected the vice president of the student ambassador program for Penn Foster. So I've been um, working with Cheyenne Hunter a lot um, with certain things and I'm excited to see what this year will bring us. Um, and then I've also been um, writing some articles for the Community Post, which is a school newspaper um, put on by Penn Foster. Um, and I'll put a link down below if you wanna go check that out. Uh, the most recent issue was on um, COVID-19, um, some coping mechanisms and um, how to kinda of keep your head above water right now. Um, so I'll definitely link that below. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you wanna hear from me or what you, kind of content you're um, wanting to see. Um, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback and um, thank you so much for watching this and um, thanks. Have a good day.